have the TCU, my players sitting in the back. Uh, we're excited about our first inaugural year in the Big 12. Uh, obviously, it's been a long journey for us. Uh, we've been through a lot of uh, different conferences along our way. But, and uh, for us, the way we approach things, and we've always approached things, whether it's been as a university or as a football program, it's been about one day at a time and, and making sure we build a foundation that will last. And so uh, our biggest, my biggest as a head football coach is to make sure that I make the Big 12 proud of inviting us into the league, make sure we have a product on the field, which is what I'm in control of. Uh, that you, you know, our goal has always been to win a conference championship. Uh, no matter what, if you look at our pyramid, no matter what we leave, our league is, and that'll be our strive in this league, do so also. And also someday play for a national championship. When I was, uh, in 2004 was the only year that we didn't go to a bowl game. Uh, a lot of people talked about it, and I was still telling them that we wanted to be play the BCS game. And I said, this guy, we love this guy's passion, but I think he's crazy. And now we played it too. So for us, as a program, on behalf of my players, I just want to tell you thank you for uh, helping us get to this point. Because it's taken a lot of different people between alumni uh, that have raised the money and given us the kind of facilities we have to the university that support us. Uh, to the players and the high school coaches that have helped us get to where we are. There's really great players make great coaches. So uh, for us, on behalf of our staff, our chancellor, our board of trustees, I just want to say thanks.
and still play the same football team. It doesn't matter what logo is on your jersey. I think the thing for us is to understand that I can, you know, as a head coach, just being honest with you, I'm saying that everything that we did up to this point, if I said, well, now we're in the big time, then what I'm saying that the Rose Bowl game didn't count, uh, they played in the Fiesta Bowl didn't count, winning all the ball games. I mean, this senior class is 36 and 3. I mean, we all talk about wins, but the bottom line to it is their three losses are to Boise State and Fiesta Bowl, to Baylor by two points, and SMU in overtime, two rivalry games. And so they, they understand how to win. How does that for the game? How does that go forward? Uh, we don't know. We're going to have to go prove it, just like we have to go prove it every year. But, you know, I, I'm not you sit in a situation where you're trying to move a program and a university forward as, as a football program. How do you do that and give them confidence? You know what? I, I read what all of you write. You know, the key to it is, you know, is, you know can they do it on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, we're, we're going to find out. But I don't think it's a, it's a quick race. I don't think it's one of those situations where, well, we're going to define TCU on what happens in 2012. Do, I, do we want to win the conference championship? Yes, we do. Every team, every head coach that's going to sit up here uh, should be able to say the same thing. And that's what your goal is. Do we want to play some new international championship? Yes, we do. Uh, will it happen? We'll find out. But I think for us, being in the Big 12 will help us re recruiting wise. It's already doing that. We've had kids that, that we recruited, but we couldn't get them on campus and now come on campus. Now looking at the facility, now they see what kind of new locker room we have. They see the indoor, they see the new stadium, and they see the kind of crowds we're going to have when we sold out. How is that going to affect us over the next three to five years? I think that's important. But I think winning is the number one thing. You know, that's, that's what I, I've been telling my people since uh, February. Is that when you sit on the side of the mountain, you don't rest. I mean, everything we've done at this point is great. But now the real work starts. Now we're climbing. It's just it's another challenge. It's another way. we got to we got to keep climbing the mountain. The higher you get on the mountain, the thinner the air, the harder it is. So, uh, you know, for us, we're going to keep doing that. Starting on August 5th, we're going to come into camp. And we're going to do the same thing. It's going to be the same first 11 practices as it's been for the last 12 years. Because my goal and my job is to, to produce the best TC football team I possibly can. That's the only thing I have control over. And then we're going to see how that stacks up to everybody else in our non-league schedule. Because we have, you got Virginia coming to town, that was a that was a bowl team. You have SMU, which it's always it's always a Super Bowl. They beat us in overtime a year ago. Uh, you got to go to Kansas, which will be probably 2-0 with their non-conference uh, with a new head coach. I mean, every challenge along the way sports you. Know, I write a I write a whole, and I'm not so you don't have to ask the question. Write a whole paragraph how I think the whole sheet of what how I think the season needs to go. I write it in the summertime after I study. We're going on the road, we're coming home, and uh, you know we're going to see if we can follow that roadmap. Yeah, Randy Griggs from the Austin American Statesman. You kind of answered my question, which was going to be about the reception you're getting from recruits now that you're in the new league. But let me ask you, does the new league change your recruiting tactics at all about the kind of players you go after or anything? You know, I, uh, if anything, I've actually backed up. I felt the last couple of years uh, with the early commitment stuff, uh, felt we got maybe we had a couple guys come in that maybe it was about getting a great private school education, all of it, but maybe it wasn't about winning a national championship. And so if you'll notice in our commitment deal up to this lately here in the last three or four weeks, I think we had only three or four commitments. So I've kind of backed up making sure that the guys that we do commit to TCU, you know, that old saying, it's not the guys you lose that get you beat, it's the one that you take and can't play. And so for me, and I'm very excited about this freshman class that just came in. And you know, I don't, obviously they're freshmen, I, you hear me use the term paper tires. Uh, and so I don't know what they're like, but as far as character, credibility, work ethic, everything, you know, uh, what they've done so far this summer, they're going to make us a better football team. And so uh, we'll move forward with it. But probably, if anything, I've backed up a little bit uh, as far as making sure that I've been a little bit more patient as far as taking a commitment and or offering one. Question on the outside, right? Hi, Brendan Morrison, the Daily Collegian. Um, obviously, the whole you know, game of adjustments, has there been any adjustment in the offseason preparation or... Have you noticed a difference in your team's preparation as you go to the Big 12 competition? Well, no, not really. I, I think our kids are excited. I'll tell you what's really helped us moving into our new weight room because we moved from about 8,000 square feet to a 20,000 square feet facility. 
And what has done is, I think, and I, I just kind of watched the kids walk through the office. I think Coach Summers has done an unbelievable job. We probably, since the beginning of May when we ended school, to right now, our upper body, shoulders, everything, because we've been able to work in more individual groups, I think, out there, has been unbelievable. They, they look like a whole different football team right now than I thought we ended in May. And so, and you know, I'm kind of excited myself to see how they approach two days because we've always been a group that's kind of attacked it. You know, we haven't shied away. Even the Texas Sea, we don't, we don't go in the mornings. We go four to six because that's when you're going to have to play. Uh, we run in the afternoons. And so uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how what our mental state is and how we want to attack it. Uh, you know, this year is a little bit different uh, two-a-day-wise because we don't play the first weekend of the season. So we only have two weeks of two-a-days. And so then we start school, and then we have three weeks of one days, which really allows us to get our legs back. The negative is you don't play the first football game of the season. The positive is, is that, you know, you, you get a chance to grow up the younger football team a little bit longer.